on this uh, 35th year of uh, Emiliano, I can say that we truly stand uh, resilient. By the many years past, a lot of challenges has been uh, faced by this school. But, I, but still until now, the mission continues. I believe by those challenges, God continues to renew every one of us to becoming more and more uh, strong and determined. We are renewed and God continues to renew us. We stand reinvigorating by this we mean the 35 years of blessing is not to be kept but to be shared and uh, let shine for the greater glory of God. Good day, everyone. I am Josefina Rey Sarmiento, in short, Mam Joy. Uh, currently the Dean of College of Engineering, Computer Studies, and Technology. Also the Dean of the Postgraduate Program of ACI, the Master in Information Technology, or MIT. Likewise, the Research and Extension Coordinator of this institution. I am 19 years in the service of my fellow Emilians and its stakeholders and still counting. We stand resilient because that is our culture as Filipinos, as the followers of Christ. In times of calamities and catastrophes like now, we are still facing and trying to defeat coronavirus disease or COVID-19. Filipinos always manage to rise above the challenge. Instead of wallowing, they manage to pick themselves up and smile. And rising above doesn't mean we are better than others. It means we have made the choice to be better inside out. It means we have opted for forgiveness, dropped anxiety, right? and everything else that dwells in a lower vibe, atmosphere, or feeling. We have renewed because God, as we come to know Him, our minds are renewed in accordance to that knowledge of Him. In Romans 12, 2, St. Paul speaks of proving what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Let me quote this scripture. Uh, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. We stand reinvigorating because of the love of God for all of us. God's love is the motivating force behind everything. There is no end to God's love. It reaches you wherever you are, even when you are messed up. The love of God is there to pick you up, brush you off, and say, I forgive you. The love of our Heavenly Father will keep and protect when nothing else can. It will strengthen us when we feel we can't go on. It will comfort us when we have cried out last year, when everything else has failed. The love of God will lift us out of any situation. God's love never runs out and never fails. When I'm looking for a reason to live, it's easy to become very introspective. I start to analyze everything that's happening. I become my own worst critic. I say to myself, 
I want things to be different. I want my life to be better. Life is short and I don't know what lies ahead. One thing is sure, he is there in this life and next. And that point, I am refreshed by the knowledge that God is always there, no matter what. So I need to get back on track and stand reinvigorated by His love. My first year of teaching here was in 1973. I taught mathematics and physics subjects at the high school department with the late Mrs. Maria Tija Moralin as principal. I consider this school as part of my life. I worked here for 47 years. Even when I was transferred in 1977 at Sorsogon State College, still I returned to teach here as a part-time teacher. After my retirement at SSC, I returned here as a full-time employee. I was assigned as the coordinator for research and extension, as the registrar, and now the Dean of College of Education, Business and Liberal Arts. We stand resilient because with some problems and difficulties we encountered, the school is able to offer solutions to address it. We stand renewed because we are ready to restore or replenish sources for the good of the school. We stand re reinvigorating because we inculcate more strengths than weaknesses in the part of the development of an individual, the students, teaching and non-teaching staff, and administrators in particular. Emilianum College Incorporated is ready to cater to the needs of the people, particularly the Sarsoganos. Through the charism of St. Jerome Emiliani, the school is continuously showing love by developing the physical, moral, and spiritual values of its students and employees with its core values, charity, love, and devotion. Always remember that Emilianum College Incorporated gives its efforts to the wholesome development of an individual. This is the Emilian way. So, ACI at 35 stands resilient, renewed, and reinvigorating. And I am happy to be able to stay here and fulfill my life principle of serving humanity. Good day to all the viewers of AITV. This week, we will be celebrating the 35th foundation of Emilianum College with the theme ACI at 35. We stand resilient, renewed, reinvigorating. I am Mrs. Jocelyn De Ramos. I have been with ACI for the past 32 years. I was assigned as chemistry teacher or science teacher and was in charge of the science laboratory. I also stood as the class advisor of third year St. Matthew for so many years. In 2016, I was designated as the school head of ACI grade school department and I am grateful to still be a part of this family or institution. Regarding the reflection of the theme, first we stand resilient because despite the challenges for the past 35 years, ACI stood tall with a stronger faith and higher hopes for the future. Second, we stand renewed as new doors of opportunity opens for Emiliano Calves. We will also give new chances of hopes for our students in order to give them the quality education they deserve. 
The third is we stand reinvigorating by being fully committed in working hand in hand and achieving the goals of Emiliano College Incorporated. So my message to all our millions as we celebrate our 35th founding anniversary, we still continue to withstand any challenges that they may come along the way with our never-ending faith with Mary Mother of the Orphans and Saint Jerome Emiliani. So remember that there is always a calm after the storm. We will stand resilient. We will come renewed as reinvigorated Emilians. Thank you. I am Junicia Del Moro Cesbreño, better known these days as Mamses. I have started in this school since 1992. I have been a science and English teacher for the first years and science and Araling Panlipunan teacher in the succeeding years. In 1995, I took charge of the elementary and high school departments. I had been in charge of the elementary from 1995 to 2001 and continue as high school principal and also science and araling panlipunan teacher as need arises. I stand resilient because of the different groups of people that I have worked with for the past 26 years. The first group of people, the five directors that I have worked with, beginning with Father Valerio in 1992, I worked with him for four years. He stayed from 1985 to 1996, a total of 11 years. Father Richard Hermaneto, who stayed here for 12 years. Father Lin Huhuta, Brother Eugene, director for four years. Then followed by Father Ermita, who stayed here for more than, for about six years. And then at present, Father Ray Malabanan. They were all our leaders for the past years and until, of course, until now. The lesson they taught and the diverse personalities and accomplishments became part of our system. The second group of people who contributed much in our resiliency was the Sumascan brothers, who most of them are now Sumascan priests and are assigned in different parts of the country and uh, of the whole world to continue the work and mission of St. Jerome Emiliani. The, th the third group are the teachers whom I work with. Most of them are now serving in the public schools and uh, some are working in schools abroad. They have contributed much in the growth of this institution in equipping the students to achieve their aspirations. For the friendship they have fostered and untiring service they have rendered for the school. The fourth group are the parents who have been very supportive in trusting their children to this school. The fifth, the alumni, our products, who are serving in their various professions in different communities here and abroad. Most of them are now the parents of our present students they stand as proof of their trust and unwavering support to Emilian education. We stand renewed seeing our products, the alumni, their success stories, 
as they hurdle the, the challenges of today's time, they serve to keep us renewed in our commitment to go on with our mission. We stand reinvigorating to provide strength for, uh, for others, especially the youth, who depend much on us educators and the school as a whole. And above all this, the Lord, the source of all good, who continue to strengthen us and the faith we drew from Him, we should impart to those who depend on us. We pray that after 35 years, we continue to grow stronger with the inspiration of our patron saint, Saint Jerome Emiliani, who concretized that great love, Jesus, the love of Jesus Christ to mankind, who inspired us to work regardless of whatever difficulty is before us. St. Jerome's inspiration invigorates us, remembering that when he turned his back from everything that he had, walking barely with almost nothing, it was the time that he had done so much for others, especially the orphans and the needy youth. Our students today are all in need. They need the strength of a holistic education in order to be the hope of our community, our nation, and the world. May our commitment to our mission be blessed and be strengthened by our faith in the Lord and by our unity in our institution, Emiliano College Incorporated. We pray that this institution grows stronger for the next 35 and 100 years to come. I am Father Francisco Cabrera, CRS. I am the very first Somascan to be ordained priest in a Philippine formation. I started my mini's apostolate here in Sorsogon right after my ordination to the priesthood that was in 1995. June, my first assignment here was to be a campus minister. I dealt with the spirituality of the student as a whole. I taught also some uh, subjects like mathematics and theology for the spiritual well-being of students. I came back in 2001 when I came back from the Italy. It was then Father Richard Germanetto who is the rector of the school, director. With the second time I was here, I was assigned to be the head of the ACI technical department. I was supervising the technical department. We become resilient because in the years that the school started to be run by the Somascan, it was able to serve humanity for a longer time, simply because the purpose of serving is genuine and real. The knowledge was imparted in the proper way. The students were given the proper perspective of learning. They were given as well the privilege to be part of the school through the teaching process and the capacity of the management to form the students in a wholesome and complete way. We stand renewed because as the years passes by, we have the impression that the needs of the student is as well growing fast. They have to be met and they have to be nurtured. We renewed our desire to continue our service, especially to the poor 
people or poor children because we wanted that the children will be prepared for a better future, that the children will be given a proper education and that people, uh, the children will meet their needs in the proper situation and occasion. We stand renewed because as we follow the example of Jerome who wanted that children will be given the proper perspective of growth, not only by stature but also by knowledge and wisdom. We stand reinvigorating because of the will to serve and of the desire to help. Looking on the perspective of the client of the children who are enrolled in this school, we are given the opportunity to reinvigorate ourselves so that we can meet needs and necessity for the younger generation who are our students and clients. The school was actually created or founded for the purpose of the Sumascan to help, especially the needy and the underprivileged. With this purpose, we cannot lose our strength. We cannot lose our desire. We should be strengthened. We should be courageous enough in fulfilling the mission left behind by the founder of the congregation, St. Jerome Emiliani. It is therefore with the desire to help and the desire to provide to the important needs of the children who are part of our students that we are continually reinvigorated. So all the Emilians, as I was once, the school has provided us the proper venue, has given us the right education, and prepared us for a better future. In return, we have to work well and be a source of strength to all other students and be able to encourage some children to pursue their education and continue aiming high so that we can help humanity in our environment, in our surround, and we can be part of the growing society toward a better and fulfilled life. Good day, I am Father Menandro Rivera, CRS. Uh, had stayed for three years in Emiliano as the Assistant Director for Administration, Guidance Counselor, Professor, and at the same time the Station Manager of ACI, TV, and Radio Station. For my years of stay in ACI, I had seen so many things. But for 35 years, it's worth it. 35 years, as our team would say, ACI at 35, we stand resilient, renewed, and reinvigorated. We stand resilient because we continue to be stable no matter what the times had come. Through thick and thin, the institution continued to grow, to live, and to stay by its goals and missions and its meaning. To be, re to be also to, be, to stand in uh, in, to, be, to stand renewed because we continue to see new visions, new goals, new trends to make this institution more firm and more convicted to what it stands for. To stand reinvigorated means that we continue to rejuvenate ourselves through prayers, through companionship, through the different administrators who have given their lives to continue such goals of this institution. My dear friends, as we continue to grow as an institution, celebrating these 35 years means a lot to us. 35 years is not easy, but we still look forward for another 35 years more doing 
to be resilient, to be renewed, and to be reinvigorated. Thank you and good day to all. Hello everyone. I am joyful to tell you that uh, I am an Emilian. This is uh, Father O.G. Dingal of the Sumascan Fathers. Way back in 1997, I was assigned there in Emiliano College until uh, 2010. So I stayed uh, almost 13 years in the Emiliano College community. And uh, we experienced a lot of uh, challenges uh, during those years together with my community. You know, our superior was uh, Father Richard Germanetto and uh, with my uh, confers of the Sumascan uh, community. And uh, for those many years, uh, there had been a lot of uh, development, both uh, physical and also uh, external, in other words, and then uh, more on what we call spiritual development and educational development, attainment. And uh, there are a lot of uh, courses also uh, which were offered. And up to now, no, Emiliano College still stands. So, kaya happy anniversary to all the Emilians and former Emilians and all those uh, who became part of the administration of uh, the Emiliano College, the Sumascan Fathers. And uh, your team is uh, very uh, touching. And at the same time, it only means that uh, it is uh, an institution. Emilianum is an institution, a school which is centered in God. You stand or we stand resilient, renewed, and reinvigorate. In other words, uh, these words are interconnected with each other. Why do we still exist now? It is because God is the center of our school. And at the same time, uh, we have been really very resilient in uh, the many uh, different trials and difficulties and struggles that the school had. You know, especially when uh, we have been visited by typhoons and all other um, calamities you know, that uh, made the... Uh, in one way or the other, the school uh, tested and even uh, the people in it. So in this case, uh, uh, the resiliency of each and every one uh, happened because uh, we have uh, Jesus, Mary, Mother of the Orphans, and St. Jerome with us. And we keep on renewing ourselves no? because uh, our uh, celebration in the many activities of the school is centered in the Holy Eucharist. A, re a real and true expression of uh, continually being renewed by Christ. Kaya nagkakasama-sama yung mga tao, no? nagkakasama-sama yung mga religious, no? at ang mga kaibigan natin na tumutulong sa ating school because we are continually renewed. No, by um, Christ's presence, by the presence of the Holy Spirit. And of course, reinvigorating, meaning uh, we continue to uh, give, no? uh, re receive new energy in order uh, to carry on no? uh, some more uh, challenges no? that are uh, along the way. And uh, we really give thanks to the Lord no? because... Uh, he, he keeps on uh, sustaining uh, the, the school, the administration, you know, all the students and uh, former students you know, who have been uh, part of the Emilian family. Kaya napaka-blessed ng bawat isa po sa atin. Ano? Kaya sana papanatili natin itong blessings na ito at uh, may share natin no, sa mga tao na kakilala natin. And uh, let us always remember no, St. Jerome Emiliani, no, the father of the orphans, our uh, teacher, our father. No, and may we uh, extend no, his charism in uh, our life no, as we deal uh, with the less fortunate and most especially to the abandoned youth and the orphans. 
So enjoy no, your 35 years celebration of uh, the Emilianum College and uh, may uh, we continue no, to be uh, really um, resilient, renewed, and uh, reinvigorate. No? May the good Lord sustain all of us with the power of His grace, with the presence of the Holy Spirit in our educational journey, and most importantly, in our journey of our faith in the Lord. Thank you very much. This is Father Oji Dingal from Casamiani, Santo Nino, Lubao, Pampanga. Bye! Ang aking taus-pusong pagbati sa anibersaryo ng Emilianum, ACI Forever. At ako po ay nagagalak at nagpapasalamat sa Diyos na ako ay naging bahagi ng eskwelahang iyan. Ako po ay si Father Lino Huta na naging uh, bahagi ng eskwelahan. Ako po ang superior noong panahon ng 2008 hanggang 2012. At the same time, ako po ay nagturo sa kolehiyo at sa mga high school. No? Sa mga college students at sa high school uh, students. We stand resilient no? because of the example of our founder, St. Jerome Emiliani, no? and the example of our forefathers, Father Valerio, Father Richard, Father Paulo the Filipino communities, Father Daniel, Father Brother Eugene, and others. No? Sila yung mga nag-umpisa at sila ang um, naging mga fundasyon ng eskwelahan na yan. Resilient kasi noon ay pinasa sa amin niyan, maraming dapat paguhin. Resilient sa mga bagyo, resilient sa mga mga courses at ito ang ginawa ng ating mga forefathers no? na sila ay hindi sumuko kundi laging nagiging matatak no? anumang bagyo anumang mga pagsubok ang dumating sila ay naging matatak at naging inspirasyon resilient kasi doon sa mga professors sa management, sa mga principals na sila ay naging matatag at nag-cooperate para sa paglago ng eskwelahan. No? So kasama dyan ang iyong uh, mahal na ina na naging principal at naging matatag, naging maayos ang ating eskwelahan. No? Tapos yung sinabi, we stand renewed. No? Because, because of the, the presence and the grace of God by the, the gift of the Holy Spirit no? okay, it's always being renewed and, and the inspiration of the lay people and our benefactors the management no? is always the spirit is always renewed it is reinvigorating because we have the common mission no? that the Samaskan fathers were faithful to the mission, um, the mission statement of our founder. No? Ito po yung mensahe na reinvigorating because they, the Samaskan fathers, the management, the the people involved were really very, very energetic and faithful to the charism of St. Jerome. My message, keep up the good work, continue the spirit of St. Jerome, remain humble and keep on the good works. No? Malikayang kaarawan, malikayang pagdiriwang, malikayang kapyesahan. No? sa inyong lahat at ipagpatuloy ang diwa 
ng ating mga pundador na si San Jeronimo Emiliani. Mabuhay kayo, Emilian forever. I am Father Lino. We stand resilient. We stand renewed. We stand reinvigorating. So, as many know me, I am uh, Brother Joseph Eugene Libut. I was first assigned here in uh, ACI, which was AI then, as guidance counselor law way back in 1988. And uh, in 1990, I assumed the position of the principal because uh, the late Madame uh, Maria Tihamorin retired. And uh, so, and I remained in that position till 1994. Then for the second time, I came here again. I came in ACI, uh, assigned as the school director in 2008 uh, till 2011. I would say we stand resilient because we are sustained by a strong faith in God and uh, being imbued with the same spirit of St. Jerome Emiliani. So we try to carry on uh, with, uh, with this uh, mission that has been entrusted to us. And uh, so we try our best to always uh, adhere to that. and. Uh, Well, uh, finding ways in order to improve and uh, well to keep the things going. And so you see, we have arrived at this uh, this much now, 35 years, and uh, proving that uh, the school is resilient. Well, of course, there were uh, many. As I've said, there were many difficulties, calamities. Yeah, for me, we stand renewed because uh, we are responsive to the signs of the times. As I've said, we, we do not stop in finding new ways to improve, to regain back what was lost. Why do I say this? Because there was once when I first arrived in, uh, when I arrived in uh, the second time when I was at the supposed to be the director, the MIT was was to be closed. They they were not giving us the recognition, and so we tried our best, since we are uh, pioneers in this, no in the region, we tried our best to regain it back. And uh, we were able to do that. And then, uh, what else? Um, and then, uh, we always, uh, uh, as I've said, uh, we always uh, want the best for our students, no? For example, when uh, Father Paolo was here, he also arrived in 1988. Immediately, computers were uh, were uh, used, and computer uh, courses were offered. So that makes us also the the first in the whole region to offer computer courses, even short term one. Aside from Christian formation, we that is one of our purpose in. Uh, uh, one of our purposes in coming to Source of One also, not to, aside from the Christian formation of our students, we try to, because we are catering to, of course, uh, the poor, no? Uh, we try our best to give them affordable quality education. And so we try to uh, get some fundings like that. So most of them were able to get through even college, not only high school, to fund their studies. Yeah, we stand uh, reinvigorating because we are dynamic. No, We do not stop 
we are not static. Whatever difficulty, calamity, pandemic that may come, we try our best to stand up once again and continue with our mission. No. One thing that I have uh, that I have observed in uh, our school is that uh, there is this uh, family atmosphere. No, probably because of being bound by the love of God. No? Since we are a, a Catholic school, we are bound by this uh, love of God. We feel like ourselves like a family. I would like to congratulate my conferers, the administrators, staff, and all Emilians for celebrating this 35th anniversary of the school. Thank you so much for make me, making me part of this uh, 35th anniversary celebration. I pray the Lord to help and guide you in continuing the Sumascan mission in Sorsogon. With that same spirit of St. Jerome Emiliani as one big happy family that is sustained by faith, renewed by love, and reinvigorated by hope. Let us not lose hope. Let's try our best to always, with the help of God, go on and keep it up. Thank you so much. May God bless us all. My uh, dear friends of Emilianum College, Happy Foundation Day to all of you. 35 years of Emilianum College. I am very happy to be part of this uh, history. I am uh, Father Paolo Lutto. I was in ACI from the year 1988 up to year 2008 as Dean of College and Finance Officer. 20 long years of my life of missionary. First of all, I thank to God for all good things who happened in Emilianum during my stay there. Deus made in Emilianum all good things. The new reconstruction of the school and the new facilities, the new laboratories, the new chapel, the big gymnasium, the Lowe's building, at the elementary school. I was their only instrument of the divine providence. Emilianum is a house of God for Sorsogon City. Thanks to God also for the radio TV station operating in Emilianum, who started during my stay there in Emilianum. Thanks also to all Somascan fathers and brothers who worked with me in this year. Thanks to all lay people who was in the school with me. I am proud to be an Emilian. To all Emilian students, former students, go ahead. You are the future of Sorcerer City. If God will, see you next time. Bye-bye. Dear friends of the Emiliano Institute, it is with great pleasure that I have received the request to make myself present through a video message in the celebration of the 35th anniversary of the foundation of this prestigious school, which, in the name of the Somalskan congregation, I was given the privilege to start in the summer of 1985. I will never forget those glorious and challenging days, and I have to say that I had never guessed that within the walls of the Milano Institute I would spend 10 years of my life 
more exactly, the most fruitful, the most joyful decade of my earthly existence. My official task was that of school director, but I have to acknowledge that if by God's grace I was able to achieve something that was essentially due to the hard work and generous dedication of my Somascan confreres, especially Father Grato Germanetto, who has been already called to eternal life, Father Paula Luto, now a missionary in Brazil, and Brother Eugene Libut, currently assigned to the Mother House of the Somascan Congregation in Italy. In those 10 years, we were able to open every year a new college course, to put up the technical school and to open the primary school in the barrio of Pampan. Later on, my successor, Father Richard Germanetto, was able to reach the Emiliano Institute with another highly prestigious attainment, the College of Law. For the sake of historical truth, however, it was not always a story of continuous successes. As it is the case with all human undertakings, we were more than once affected by setbacks and heavy losses. And that is why, very rightly, you have chosen for this minimum meaningful anniversary a team that is expressive of this reality. We stand resilient, renewed, reinvigorating. That is what I experienced during my 10 years term. We were affected by two devastating typhoons, Hermin and Caesar, and it was just the beginning of a series of calamities that seemed to nullify our human efforts. However, with God's help, the Emiliano, showing its resilience, came out of those painful situations always renewed and reinvigorated. Mangatugan, Sinabianako, Nadabat, Kon Idabdag, Iran Salita, Sabikan Bikol, Patawani Nioako, Indiko Kaya, Dai Matigasan Uloko, Al Satotolan, Indiako Nakatuto Nam Bikol, Tanga Pininio, Angakin Pagbati, Sabikan Bambansa. Mabuhay ang Emiliano, mabuhay ang Pinoy, at barbasan sana tayo ng poong may kapal. Amen. Blessed be God. Congratulations to the Emiliano College community, to St. Jerome Institute community, to the fathers, brothers, and all of you who are all working hard in Emiliano. It's really a grace to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the school. 35 years, it's a grace coming from the Lord. You have been through thick and thin with many difficulties in the past, but at 35 years, that is a marrying age at this moment. It means you have established identity. You have that uh, sureness in yourself. You have that grace to beget children of your own. So congratulations. Truly, I don't want to, yet to use the word resiliency as it is already overused nowadays. But maybe to describe the school in its sturdiness, its power, its strength. Because no amount of typhoon can topple it. And we have experienced it. We have known it in the past. Not only typhoons brought by the bad weather, but even the spiritual and other typhoons of the society. We know the school stands because it is in the Lord through the intercession of St. Jerome. And with that strength in the school, in you who are working in the school, with the students and parents' cooperation, we know that you have that energy that within yourself can come out in the service of others. So dear brothers and sisters, live truly with vigor because that vigor in you can radiate and influence others. So we hope that reaching 35 years, you will become the best school in Region 5. Imagine we have the, the best performing law school in Sorsogon, and not only in Sorsogon, but in the whole Bicol region. This has been established in the past years. What an honor. But not only that, even in the IT, in the field of 
sciences in the field of liberal arts, you have tried to excel in these fields and all because of your hard work. So please continue all for the glory of God and for the enrichment of our humanity. Congratulations and may God bless you all. Congratulations to the whole Emilianum family as you celebrate your 35th foundation anniversary. 35 years of beautiful, memorable, and significant events in the life of our institution, in helping the people of Sorsogon in the field of education and formation of the young to be productive and God-fearing citizens of the whole world. 35 years of ups and downs, we take inspiration from the many individuals who became a part of the Emilianum family, they who have sacrificed beyond their means in order to push forward our school at every stage where there are difficulties and challenges on its path. Facing this pandemic today, and forcing us to adapt to the new normal, we stand resilient, renewed, and reinvigorating as we had been since the beginning of the history of our beloved institution. These characteristics echo in the same way the attitude of our father, St. Jerome Emiliani. He is our model. He is our inspiration. With him, we stand directing our school forward to serve the least, the needy, and the young of our province today and the years to come. Let the million spirit be alive in our province, that all may be renewed and be reinvigorated. I am Father Junar Enorme. We are Emilians. We stand resilient, renewed, and reinvigorating. Dios mabalos. Sagabos mabuhay. Sega tutti e un abbraccio e un saluto a tutta la presenza somasca dell'Emiliano Collis. Ecco, i nostri fratelli del Sant'Alessio, nell'Aventino, mi hanno chiesto di farvi un saluto a tutti voi. Ecco, io sono contento, sono davanti al nostro padre San Girolamo eh, con la sua reliquia e il suo stemma della Casa Emiliana. Cosa vi posso dire? Innanzitutto tanti auguri per questi 35 anni di presenza su Masca. Il primo saluto ai nostri padri, ai fratelli del nostro ordine su Masco, perché loro hanno portato avanti questa eredità di 35 anni. Voglio salutare specialmente agli agenti gli agenti su cui si fa questa opera, cioè ai nostri ragazzi piccoli, grandi, mediani e poi e voi universitari che fate parte della nostra vita. Vi voglio ringraziare specialmente all'equipo dei docenti, agli insegnanti e a tutti quelli che formate parte di questa realtà, gli insegnanti, agenti di pulizia, di servizi, tutti siamo importanti nel portare avanti questa opera dei padri somaschi in questi 35 anni e che andrà avanti, senz'altro andrà avanti. Cosa vi posso dire anche in questo periodo così complicato del Covid-19? Ecco, dobbiamo essere uniti, dobbiamo avere speranza e dobbiamo andare avanti. Dobbiamo essere attenti, senz'altro i nostri dottori, i medici, la medicina ci sta dicendo di essere attenti, ma non ci possiamo spaventare. Dobbiamo andare avanti. Ecco, io ci credo molto nella scuola, ci credo molto nella scuola universitaria, perché grazie agli studi e alla cultura il mondo si può cambiare. Ecco, via via nel seguire il carisma di San Girolamo, che ci ricorda che dobbiamo essere buoni cittadini e buoni cristiani, per cui studiamo, ma anche preghiamo. Conosciamo le scienze del mondo, ma conosciamo anche la scienza del Signore Gesù, cioè conosciamo il Vangelo. E questo qua penso che sia veramente importante. Ecco, in questo slogan che i nostri fratelli ci hanno detto, ecco, dobbiamo risalire, senz'altro, 
dal negativo, di quello che è passato, anche dal positivo, di tutto quello che è passato, dobbiamo risalire, dobbiamo andare avanti. Ecco, c'è un rinnovarsi, perché il mondo cambia, e il mondo sempre adesso è più globalizzato, anche se questo Covid ci ha un po' eh, ferito, ci ha ferito, e noi dobbiamo andare avanti, non dobbiamo fermarci. E poi dobbiamo essere rinvigoriti, ripeto, dobbiamo andare avanti, non ci possiamo fermare. E a un certo punto bisogna, i nostri padri mi hanno detto di farvi un saluto, lo farò, il mio inglese non è che sia molto bello, però lo faccio sempre col cuore. I am father, José Antonio Nieto Sepúlveda, we are Emilians, we stand resilient, renewed and reinvigorating for together. Together, teacher, alum, religious, for together. Uh, bless God you. Thank you very much. I am Padre Ray Enaro M. Malabana CRS. As a mascot priest, I started working at Emiliano College Incorporated since 2013. I was appointed as principal in the elementary department and it was September 8, 2018 I was appointed as the school director of this school. At present, I am the president of the board of trustees and at the same time as the school director. We are now celebrating the 35th year foundation anniversary with the theme ACI at 35, we stand resilient, renewed, and reinvigorating. We stand resilient because we are tested by our sincere service to the youth and poor students. 35 fruitful and meaningful years of service in the field of Catholic Christian education in the province of Sorsogon. We stand renewed because we continue to renew our commitment to serve the people of Sorsogon in giving solid and genuine Christian education to the youth, particularly the marginalized, the poor students who want to continue their education and dream to become professionals in their chosen field of career. We stand reinvigorating. We continue giving new strength and energy with pull of vigor and enthusiasm to our youth of today, the future of our land. We continue building better community of faithful, resilient, skilled professionals and globally competent individuals. Emilianum College Incorporated, as a Catholic higher education institution, considers excellence as a way of life. My dear Emilians, happy 30th foundation anniversary. Always stay safe and healthy as we are now in the new normal situation study well and keep on learning for education is life and considers our wealth keep up the good work and be persevering in all your undertakings as a students love what you are doing and for sure success will be achieved pray always and believe in god for god is always there for us because he loves us so much pray believe and do good because in every goodness that you do god will reward you and will give you all what you need in this life's journey we invoke and give thanks to saint jerome emiliani our school patron saint for inspiring us 
in our discovering new ideas and information through our dedicated teachers and parents. We pray and give thanks to the Blessed Mother for guiding us through the years as we are journeying towards Jesus in His Kingdom. My dear Emilians, be resilient, renew, and reinvigorating. Happy 30p Foundation Anniversary and Mabuhay.